Hey YouTube friends, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of Japanese beetles in your garden and in your yard. Japanese beetles have been a huge problem for me. They tear up my blackberry bushes, almost ruined my corn harvest this year. Not only are they bad for that, but they also attract moles in your lawn, which come in and tear up and dig holes and do all kinds of damage in your yard. If you get rid of the Japanese beetle grubs in your yard, you won't have the moles coming in to try to eat them. Milky Spore is a natural product that infects Japanese beetle grubs and kills them. Once the grubs die and decay, the spores re-enter the soil and continue to be eaten by grubs year after year after year. And so what we're really doing is we're breaking the life cycle of the Japanese beetle. Just one adult Japanese beetle can produce 50 babies that are going to start out as grubs and then re-emerge next year. In the summer, in June and July, the grubs emerge as a beetle. And that's what you usually see. Well, if you've had an infestation of Japanese beetles like I have, you can imagine this is a problem that's going to grow and grow and grow because there's no natural predators in America that are going to be eating those grubs or eating those Japanese beetles. So it's just going to get out of control. Milky Spore is going to help us get rid of those beetles naturally. Now, this is something that is not harmful um, to your pets. It's not harmful to your plants. It's not harmful to good insects. It only attacks Japanese beetle grubs and that's going to kill them. And then that's going to make sure that we don't have any of those adult Japanese beetles coming up and infecting our garden. So this is a good, natural, safe way to get rid of Japanese beetles. 10 months out of the year, you don't even see the Japanese beetle. It is living in your soil. Milky Spore is going to break that cycle and is going to start to kill the grubs during those 10 months when they're underground. And Milky Spore is something that can last in your soil for 10 years killing. So we're gonna put this in the ground today and I'm gonna show you how I do it. You wanna apply Milky Spore in the late summer or early fall, August, September, October. And in order to apply it, you want to use an applicator to place one teaspoon of milky spore powder every four feet in a grid pattern on your lawn. I built my own applicator, but you can buy an applicator online. It's kind of cheap, and I was able to build one with less money, something that will last, something that's better. Check back with my channel next week because I'm going to show you how to build your own applicator with materials you have on hand or you can get easily at your local hardware store for less than 10 bucks. And it will be something that will be better than you can get from the applicator that's sold online. Now, Milky Spore is non-toxic. It's not a poison, but it is an irritant and you don't want to breathe it. You don't want to get it on your skin or in your nose or in your eyes. So be sure to wear glasses, gloves, and a mask when you're putting it on your lawn and garden. Using a funnel, we're going to add the Milky Spore to our applicator. Be sure to wear a mask, glasses, and gloves so that you don't get the Milky Spore in your eyes, mouth, nose, or on your skin. Also, I recommend wearing long sleeves and pants to keep it from getting on your your, your bare arms or your bare legs. So we add the powder to the funnel. And now we're ready to go. Now about every four feet or so, you want to tap the applicator on the ground, which will dispense roughly one teaspoon of milky spore. Alternatively, you could apply the milky spore with an actual teaspoon, but that's going to be very tedious and time consuming and is going to kill your back bending over because you really don't want to sprinkle it uh, while you're standing up 
the wind will disperse the spores as they drop to the ground. You want them to be concentrated into little piles in a grid pattern every four feet or so across your lawn and garden. Again, you can buy an applicator online or check my video next week and I'll show you how to build your own applicator. It's very easy, very simple, very inexpensive. And I'll also leave instructions in the description of this video in case you're watching it this week before I post my next video. Hebrews 12, 15 says, Look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. Bitterness in your heart is like a Japanese beetle grub. It lies there hidden buried in your heart. Everything looks fine on the surface, but then when you least expect it, bitterness crawls out to corrupt all your relationships. Sometimes it comes out as anger towards the person who made you bitter. But bitterness can also poison relationships with your friends and loved ones who haven't done anything to hurt you. When your heart is bitter, that bitterness spoils even the sweet things in your life. So what can you do about it? You've got to get rid of that bitterness through forgiveness. It's not easy. Forgiveness means letting go of an offense to no longer expect your offender to make it right. We wait for someone who wronged us to make it right, but they may not even be able to fix it, even if they wanted to. So we hold a grudge, which doesn't do anything except poison our own soul and hurt our relationships. Or we can let it go and forgive. Forgiveness doesn't mean you condone bad behavior or give up on justice. Forgiveness means you stop expecting the person who hurt you to be the one who heals you. Instead, forgiveness means releasing your bitterness and trusting God to heal you. That frees you to have peace and better relationships with the people that matter. But you say, this person doesn't deserve to be forgiven. You're probably right. So don't do it for them. Do it for you and all the other people in your life who deserve you to be the best you you can be. Forgiveness isn't easy. It takes the supernatural power of God in some situations. Thankfully, God wants to help you forgive and get rid of your bitterness. Why don't you ask Him to help you today? Comment below if you have questions or want to talk more about this. I'd be glad to talk with you. I'd be glad to help or to pray for you. Do anything I can to help you to forgive. Now, let's get out there and let's grow and be fruitful.